All right, so in this video, we're going to be going through Airtable's pricing. We're going to make this as simple as possible. And to do that, we're going to be going through two things. So I will be walking you through this pricing page, as well as giving you a calculator built in Airtable for Airtable, built by Airtable consultants. So built by me. Um, so this is the Airtable pricing page. If you go to Airtable.com backslash pricing, you'll be able to find this page. And it kind of has its own calculator, but it is only calculates really two things. So it shows you the lowest price. So it makes it a little bit confusing, but I'll go through all the different payments and all the different options on what that gets you. And my recommendation, I'll say my recommendation right now, it shouldn't influence yours that much because you'll figure out your needs. But I think the $20 plan is the best price. I don't get anything from Airtable for saying that. So that's what I think for the free, we'll start off with the free plan. So what do you get for the free plan and where do I see people run into limitations? So the free plan is free. You can share it with other people similar, it's like Google Sheets. So you can, you can still use it as a free relational database, so more similar to Microsoft Access. It's $0 per user per month, so you can share it with a team of 20 and you shouldn't run into any issues and it'll be free for everybody. You can, but you only get the free plan benefits, so I'll go into those now. So, you get unlimited basis. That's great. If you took the introduction course, you noted that you couldn't, there wasn't quite as much customization with customizing forms, customizing bases, picking the different colors on the bases, really co color coordinating those. That really wasn't there, but you do get unlimited bases. Now this right here, both of these is a problem that I see people run into a lot, specifically the records per base. 1200 records per base is not very much. So if you're wanting to use this for a team and you have like 20 people on the team, then you could say that each person gets 60 records. And if you're like me, if you say you're keeping track of this in a CRM, if you have that many people and each person only gets 60 records, that's maybe four contacts with 15 interactions a piece and that's also including their records so then if each person had that many records they'd be over the limit so I wouldn't recommend going this route the free route unless you're a really small team or if it you're just using it for yourself a uh, compromise that I often have is I'll use the pro plan for myself or for the head honcho of the base of whoever is administrating most of this stuff and then you can provide little mini workstations in a free plan it's just a lot of work to get around it all and that's the biggest limitation that i often see is this records per base being uh inhibitor now this attachments per base if you're someone who likes to have a lot of attachments in there two gigabytes is not a lot for twenty dollars per month you can get 20 gigabytes or for 10 you can get five so that's generally not as much of an issue as the records per base, but now this re revision and snapshot history. Now there's some people, they really value this revision and snapshot history. I don't value it as much. I think it's really good when you're on a team and you can see who's been working on it recently. And that two weeks generally is enough. Usually whenever I need to see something, it's within like the last few days. So I think that's fine if you're someone on a team, on a bigger team especially, you're going to see who's been editing, who was the last person to edit this record. Um, you can use something like that. There's also fields now in Airtable. You can see the last person who edited the record, just not exactly what their edits were. So that's also an option if you want to sneak around that. But again, this record per base is the biggest thing I see people missing. All of these plans are the same. You get all of the iOS app, the real-time, this cloud-based sharing, similar to like Google Sheets. You can all edit it at the same time. You get all the same views, you get all the same field types, and all of that. Now, the automations. This is another area where if you really want to have an advanced Airtable, which I assume if you're taking these courses, you want to get the most out of your Airtable account, you're going to run, if, if you use these automations and you want to save time, you want to build your processes out so they save you time, they save people in your company time, saves your company money, and it gets, just gets things done faster, more efficiently. The automation just always show up. 100 per month is not a ton. So you might run into that frequently. And again, with this run history, I don't generally see that as a problem. If you have an error, it'll usually come up pretty fast. 
but that 100 per month, while it's great for being free, it's not a lot to really grow your business. So that, that's my thoughts on that. Sync table per base. I suspect this is going to be going away soon. Yeah, so April 2021. So don't count on this for too much longer if you are on a free plan. Um, and it's also manual. So you have to like click a button to sync those tables. Now you don't get any of these advanced features such as apps. I know there's a video, a lot of videos on apps out there such as like the page designer. The apps are not all that great, but they do serve really good purposes, especially like the scripting block. The apps, the apps can enhance your workflows and everything very, a lot if you use them properly, especially if you have scripts set up and especially if you use the apps as like a dashboard. That's really only available in this pro plan, as well as all of these different calendar features that coloring the per really the per this is where the personalization comes out of Airtable is like in the apps custom dashboard custom forms with your logo and everything your banner on the top the advanced calendar features advanced additional color and styling options so whether that's like on the base or just within the base you really unlock a lot more with like conditional formatting and all of that when you move up to the pro plan and that's just not available on this plan you also get the personalization of different views like you can create those personal views locked views especially if you're using zapier automations you would probably want a locked view so that nobody edits it because zapier's automations limit to when a record enters a view and you don't want somebody messing with the filters that you have set up for that so really all these cool personalization features are available on the pro plan so just keep that in mind you also get like similar levels of support you get priority support response if you have pro um, I generally haven't ran into issues with that, but if you're doing a lot of scripting and a lot of stuff that's like pushing the boundaries of our table, you'll want a little bit better support than normal. So that's the free plan. Now to recap the pre free plan, the biggest limitations you'll find are these records per base and the number of automations per month. Now this is like a new feature recently, so I think it's still great that they give you a hundred, but it's this 1200 records per base is just not a ton to really leverage Airtable to scale your business. So that's my thoughts on that. Now we'll move to the plus plan. This is really the in-between plan. You get some good features, you get a little bit more expansiveness, but it's still not quite the pro plan for just double the money. So this is $10 per user per month. And I'm gonna go into the per user per month when I get into the calculator, but I do wanna go through all these different options. So Again, you get 5,000 records per base. You still get all of the all of the same features, at least of the free plan, but you get roughly four times as many records. Now, I also see people running into this. This isn't really that many more, whereas 50,000 really gives you a lot more expansiveness. And also, this is not quite four times as much. It's about two and a half times as much attachment space. I generally don't run into the attachment space issue, but you might if you're a really if you're doing a lot of content planning, having assets in Airtable, this would really benefit you from having this expanded attachment. And then you have these same field types and everything. You do get 5,000 automations, so that's quite a few more automations. So that's definitely getting a lot more money, a lot more value for your money with this one. So. That is definitely good if you think 5,000 would be enough. If you currently have a Zapier and you wanna move some, some of them from Zapier to Airtable, then kind of look at where you're at with how many automations you're doing in Zapier and could you just do those in Airtable. So this one, it this is better because this will not go away with, it will not end on April, 2021. And it's also automatic. So this will happen automatically rather than you having to go menu to push the button. And these are, the free plan and the plus plan, there's really not that much difference. It's just a little bit of expanded capacity. You still don't get all of the personalization. You still really don't get all of everything you would want for the integrations for like Zapier with those personalized plan with those personalized views and everything that you would want that you get with this next plan that I'll show you. So this next plan is $20 per user per month. And I think this is the best plan that they have. It's 50,000 records. I I know there are people who have ran into this limit, but there's not very many. And if you're a good ambassador of Airtable, if you 
take care of your systems and your, especially if you have your base set up as a relational database, it's going to be more difficult to hit this 50,000 than if you're just building this all out on your own without an idea of what structure your database should look like. So this generally isn't a problem unless your base isn't managed very well or if you have a very big business. If you have a very big business that manages a lot of transactions, a lot of records, then this could be an issue, but it's gen for most, nearly everybody that I work with, this is not an issue. Uh, the 50,000 isn't too much and nor is the 20 gigabytes of attachment space per base. I find that these provide plenty and people are okay with this one year revision and snapshot history. That just means that you can see all of the edits that have made it, been made in the past year. You still get data that's o over a year old. You still get like all of the records, all of the tables that are, that are over a year old, but you do only get to see the last edits in the last year, which I've not seen an issue with that either. Now the automations per month, this is, this gives you 50,000 and it gives you that year of the history of these automations. So I don't care as much about the run history, but 50,000 per month, especially when you compare this to Zapier's plan, which if we go to Zapier pricing, then you're getting way more here for even their $20 plan. So if we go to their $20 plan, let's go see how many, so $20 on Airtable. Now granted, Airtable connects with so many other apps. Uh, for $20 in Airtable, you only get 750 tasks per month. If you wanna get even 1500 tasks per month, you have to pay $40. So for just the automations and Again, keep in mind, this doesn't connect with nearly as many apps as Zapier. This only connects with a select few number of apps and Airtable's working on expanding those, but you get 50,000. Now that's nearly, nearly, I don't know what that number is, but 700, that's a ton more. 750 compared to 50,000. That's at least 50 times more. I about said 100 times more. It's at least 50 times more the automations for the same price and you get all, your, all of the additional benefits of having Airtable. And people were paying that much before they even added the automation. So this is just really just added benefits here. They also recently just added the sync thing and you get 20 sync tables per base. Now, keep in mind with Airtable, each base is a relational database in itself, but the bases prior to this feature, they weren't synced up with each other. You couldn't relate data in one base to data in another base. But with these sync tables, what you can do is you can sync one table in one base with one table in another base. And that way, that generally solves all of the issues with sending data between bases because this will enable you to connect those, make two bases, a true relational database, and connect all of that together. So I think that's amazing. They give you 20 of those and it's again, synced automatically rather than trying to go press a button. Also, you get all of these additional options. You get to make dashboards with the apps, with the page designer app. They have charts, graphs, pivot tables. You get the coloring options such as the conditional formatting and all of the different styling options. And you also get those other calendar views. You can customize your calendars a lot more. And then I know a really popular one is the branding. You can take, take Airtable's branding off the bottom of a form. And you can also add your banners and your logos to the top of the form. You also get those locked views and those personal views that I was telling you about with Zapier earlier. That's what you, you really should have a locked view if you're running automations with Zapier and Airtable, but they're not entirely necessary. It just makes, it should make it a lot more secure and you should trust those automations to work more often than not if you have other people in your base with these locked views. And then you also get these password and domain restricted shares. So if you're sharing a view with someone and you want to lock it, you want to restrict it to them, maybe as really sensitive data, then this these password and domain restricted shares is really gonna take that to the next level because you don't have to like embed it in a site that is like a private site that nobody else can see, or you don't have to buy stack or any of these other add-ons. You can just use those password and domain restricted shares as well as these field and table editing permissions. So generally with most Airtable, it's able to be shared on the base level and on the workspace level. 
but with this you get the field and table editing permissions so it gives you that next layer deeper of who can edit the data in fields who can edit the data in tables and who can customize the fields and everything like that so you also get early access to new features so for example today is the january 23rd and they actually just released recently i think it was yesterday they just released two different automations that i got in my airtable account and they were for airtable automations the first one was an automation that had an action that would find records similar to zapier and the first one was you can trigger out an automated schedule so they just came out with those and we got those instantly um and so basically like you could run an automation every 15 minutes or run it every day at 5 p.m or every single day at 5 p.m just mondays at 5 p.m etc etc and then you also get this priority support response i know i've personally gained value from that when support when submitting tickets to them asking them for different things on my account i've gotten pretty fast response on my pro plan which now in the next video i'll explain all the pricing so that's on my pro plan i love the pro plan i would i think it has its benefits far outweigh the cost especially when you're comparing other tools like zapier and integramat and all of this other stuff so now we'll go into the price calculator because this pricing model can be a little bit confusing with the per user per month and it's essentially per user per month per workspace so go to the next video and we'll talk about the pricing calculator which you can actually download